I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Stephen here, welcome back to another day of 6 o'clock content. We are one full day into La Liga team of the season now. We had Saul yesterday, the review for him is on the channel. We have Mariano uh, Objective, the review for him is also on the channel. There is a uh, another card, and I've, I've done it, it's done. I uh, Unfortunately, there's an issue. Uh, this guy, Reguilon, right? I've got, I've got him unlocked on an account, right? And I can review him anytime I want. The problem is, I'm kind of like, that account is in a, a state of unassigned. So there's an awful lot of, like, rare gold cards bought for under a thousand coins on that account from La Liga. So that when that they drop the upgrades, we can sell them and make a lot of money, right? Makes sense, yeah? Or just do loads of upgrades, whatever. But the problem is, that card is buried somewhere in amongst the unassigned. And I can't get to it. So I can't review it. My bad. Um, while we're here, we might as well look to see if there's anything. I mean, there's nothing new. But to be fair, there's quite a lot there to, to be getting on with. I would imagine that not everyone has, has done this. So that card is there. Uh, interestingly, it was there for two weeks. I didn't notice that yesterday. So... I don't know, weird one, right? Because that's going to spill into the next team of the season. And it's also interesting that they followed the pattern with community team of the season and the EFL. Then they went Premier League and Saudi League, exactly the same as they have done the last 2, 3, 4, 28 years. Then they jumped over the Bundesliga and the Portuguese League, which normally come out together. And they went straight for La Liga and what I would assume is the Turkish League on Monday. So have they left out the Bundesliga because that league has a start date? So they're not going to give that a team of the season so far. And we may get an actual team of the season later on. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that they decided to do it. But a bit weird how they've decided to skip over. But either way, that card is there for two weeks. Um, Mariano is not there for two weeks. I have completed that though. That review is on the channel. Link to that is at the end of the video, or go check it out, whatever you want. Romarinho uh, is there for another two days. I've got that unlocked on like two or three different accounts. Team of the Season kit is also there. Cinco de Mayo is still there for three days. The Ramadan kit is there for another 14 days, six hours, so that's a long time. Another five days for the Retro PSG. There's an awful lot of stuff to go and unlock. You might not like any of it, but there are a lot of things there that uh, will interest some, I'm sure. Now... Ansu Fati moments, a eh? that has got uh, that's got a lot of uh, that's got a, oof, oof. Uh, La Liga uh, challenge is also there for a rare Electrum, and no, that's it. But to be fair, that is now more players released for La Liga than we had for the Premier League, because we had Saul yesterday, which was the equivalent of the Undidi SBC, and I think that was it. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we have what is this? Under 23, earn a player moment and Sufati celebrating his record-breaking brace against Levante. And that card is 4-star, four 4-star, four high-medium, 99-99 agility of balance, 97 acceleration sprint. Oh, God, that card is, that card is sexy. Is it the best, <clears throat> is it the best card in the game? No, but because he is a youth player, and we've not seen anything like this from him before. Like, it's not like one of these cards, like Saul, for example. Last year, he probably had a, a like nice set of cards. Year before that, probably had a nice set. This year, he's already got a couple of decent cards. Ansu Fati hasn't got last year's cards. He hasn't got a good card from this year. So this is nice, and and, and it should be fun to use as well because of the four-star, four-star, and the fact that he, he does sort of seem to fit the meta quite well. The stamina is borderline, but that should be fine. The strength is going to be annoying, but I've used players with worth strength before. Vision's annoying, but if you use him as a striker, you should be fine. That looks like a great card. Two segments, though, which does represent... Um, yeah, I was going to say... it. Uh, I mean, it's expensive for a reason, right? So that card, if it was... Iose Perez and say it wasn't an objective and Iose Perez was an SBC, he would be one segment 85 rated team with an inform and they're the same rating. 
But because that is Ansu Fati and that isn't a, a desirable player, a player that, like I said, we haven't seen a special item from before, that is why he's there as an SBC for that price. That is, what, 160, dare I say? It might even be more than that, but I think that's around 160,000 coins. Which, I suppose, in a way, you could argue is, is worth it. I'm not saying that's bad value in any sense uh, of the word, but I, I just think that that's maybe more than some people would have anticipated. Um, I'm not sure if I've got enough on this account to do it. I mean, I know it sounds stupid, because look at the account, right? Yeah, there's enough here to be able to do that easy. But do I really want to be just giving up Team of the Season cards, this, that, and the other to get it done? I'm not sure. I will have a little mooch around though, and I and I will see if I can complete it. Before I do that though, what I will do is drop in some red picks. This is a viewer's red picks and a red picks from another account that I've uh, got access to as well. So I'll show you those now, and then when I come back, we may or may not have Fatty done. So two sets of gold three rewards. Um, you know, they're nothing like amazing, but just definitely worth showing. So in the first one, we uh, we get 95 Alexander Arnold, which is a, a banging pick, to be fair. And in the second one, we get Petros. Actually, not too bad, considering they were all Saudi League picks. The, these rewards were sent in by Hacking B. If you want to send me rewards and you've got recordings like this, feel free to send me them uh, via Twitter or, or whatever. Uh, he's only been playing a few uh, weeks, actually. So to get those rewards, they're going to bump his, uh, his club up big time. And then on the account that I actually play on, not the best, but a red Soyunku or Soyunchu and um, and a Gomis for, for rating purposes. I mean, not too bad, really. So I've decided to do it, and I'm going to use... I'm just going to start ripping through some of the cards that just don't really do it for me anymore. Like, 87 Valbuena was okay when he came out, but he was never great. Uh, the Jesus Navas has been out since October, and I can't... I Honestly, I think I've played, like, four games with him. 21, apparently. Uh, I don't even remember playing one with him. Uh, Mike on, we got uh, the guaranteed... Uh, Saudi League SBC and everything else is just trash that was in the club really so yeah more than happy to submit that away we do get a, a 15k pack back for it as well but we are now committed to that um, team of the season moments fatty I probably should have done this on my other account where I have Saul as well I may do it as well I don't know but um, either way I'm going to quickly fly through this if I can and that completes the second team, I guess. I mean, I might be able to get away with lowering that down because that does seem quite high. Uh, I put Pope in there because I've got De Gea on this account and I don't really use Premier League. I mean, I don't really use De Gea, to be honest. I thought I'd keep De Gea, uh, his Footmas card, because he's Spanish and it might link into whatever I decide to build into with Fatty and the team as well. I don't care about um, Morales. Again, he was okay when he came out. He wasn't anything special. Don't mind giving him up. Gareth Bale isn't really worth an awful lot, and uh, I think he's untradeable anyway, so that's irrelevant. Pack Werner the other day, I had tried to sell him at about 18k. Wasn't going. Might as well just chuck him into this SBC and get him gone, and everything else is untradeable anyway. So I'm really not too concerned about giving anything up. I mean, I wonder if I can keep... Like, if I could do that. Yeah, see, I can't do that. So we're kind of, we're kind of half on the threshold. I can swap an 84 for an 85, I guess, but I'm all right with it. I'll just give it up. It's just an account that I just open some, you know, I'll chuck some FIFA points on to replenish what we've what we've lost anyway, so I'm not that bothered. We have Player Moments and Sufati. I will do the review, but it won't be out till tomorrow, so chances are you'll have seen a review from someone else, and that's fine. But if you want to wait for my opinion before you get this, uh, get this done, I will... I'll get it out first thing in the morning. Yeah, why not? I'll just get it done first thing in the morning. So here we go. Not a bad little card. Um, I, I think I, I don't think it's too expensive at all. Uh, I think it's it's decent value considering what you get. An extremely fast, skillful player that will fit the meta of this game very, very well. I think I, I don't think he'll be the best card you've ever used, and, and I definitely think that uh, you'll you'll probably have a, a card in your team that or what. I've never, I don't know whether it's just me, but I've never seen a card, an untradeable card, discard for 150 coins before. Just me? I don't know. Um, 
anyway, yeah, I, I, you'll probably have a better right wing or left wing rather in your car in your club. I can't speak. You'll probably have a better left wing or left mid, whatever, in your club at the moment in terms of rating. Probably, right? However, this card may be one of those broken cards that is so good, basically like a Ryan Kent, that everybody uses regardless of the rating. Whether you bring him on as a sub, whether you start him, I'm not sure. That does look like a very, very good card with stats in the right areas. Attack positioning, a little bit low. We'll have to bump that up, sure. Vision, I'm not too concerned about it, but I will maybe try and bump it up. But the dribbling department is just phenomenal. The pace, the skills, the weak foot, the, the finishing, even the short passing, it's all on point. What is he height-wise? 5'10"? I mean, that's just perfect for this game. High-medium work rates as well. That is a great-looking card. Can't wait to get that uh, on the pitch. Now, we do have a few packs to open just to finish things off here. I don't expect to get anything good from these. I'll do the Prime Mix first, then the 15k. Feels quite laggy right now, um, so I don't know whether this was going to, like, yeah, when it opens and then we'll do the 15k but if you want my honest opinion i think that's a banging sbc i don't I mean i don't think it's like the best value sbc i've ever seen and you need to get it done it's coming in a lot less than i thought it was originally i thought 160 it's actually more like 130 so i think that's i mean <laughs> let's be honest that is really good i just said it wasn't like the best value sbc you've ever seen but it's not far off is it for that card to be 120k or 130k is pretty damn good i'm i'm more than happy with my my purchase there we're not going to get anything good out of the packs from it unfortunately but i've got a banging card review will be out first thing in the morning if you have enjoyed 6 p.m content for today because i know i have then do me a favor and hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now